good day friends it is me HL Mod Tech and I am back with another awesome tutorial so let's get cracking friends I really enjoy the Tinkercad reddit and a user had a question hey why is my shape skewed friends I got a way it can happen let me show you first it looks like this user was trying to get these pieces to match up with something they imported this imported shape had all kinds of different angles let me show you why that matters the object in question was a cylinder. I'm going to bring out two of these. Of course, with a cylinder, you can stretch all the handles, move it like this and that, and lift it higher and lower. Everything works just the way you'd expect. I'm going to set that over there. Now, remember, we had a second shape over here. I'm going to just bring in a pretend second shape and stretch it kind of funny, just playing with it. But then what I'm going to do that makes this all work is I'm going to put the work plane right here. Maybe I wanted to drop the next shape there. I was trying to line it up, whatever. But if I now switch to the other shape and grab its handles, check it out. We have all of a sudden skewed that object because it is being stretched on the other work plane. There you go, friends. That is how I think that happened. Now you can make fun stuff with this. If you take this and bump the sides up, give it a bevel of say two, and let's give it segments of 10 and press enter. All of a sudden you do end up with kind of a nifty marshmallow shape. Who knows, just telling you, it is available. And it's probably the reason why that user's shape on Reddit looked crazy. Let's see if we can actually use this for something useful real quick. I saw a fantastic project by ZDP189. Friends, if you haven't seen this, if you check the gallery and find a user that's making awesome stuff, friends, check out all of his amazing creations. The one I want to look at right now is this one right here. It is a sweet hyperbolic gear. Friends, this thing is insanely cool. And check it out, Dan is allowing you to copy and tinker it. Now, the big thing that's nice about copy and tinker is he left notes in here so you can ungroup and learn how he built it. Now, friends, remember before you copy and tinker, always give a reaction. I think this is absolutely awesome. And I'd love to see you guys take a moment to explore and learn from ZDP. Now, friends, let me show you how this may have worked with the skew trick. I'm going to simply shift rotate to stand this little wedge up 90 degrees. Of course, D to drop. Let's say the tooth of the gear needed to look just like this. Of course, this is not mathematically correct. I am just showing the idea. If I then had put the work plane over here, I can now take this shape and I can skew it. Now, I don't think that's going to be as cool as what ZDP did, so I'm going to just go look at ZDP's design instead, but I just wanted you guys to know this trick was available. Of course, friends, I do also want to show you the sweet note tool. If you are ever sharing a project with the world or a friend, this is so easy to add notes in here so that they can get more from your projects. If you've never shared a project before, friends, it is so simple. You can click up here to invite people to join you, generate the link, copy the link, and then reach out and share it with whatever tool you communicate with. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I have got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Down below, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. Below that, friends, you'll also find the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. If you look at the very top, you'll also find the link to the Tinkercad community discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything tinkercad finally friends of course if you enjoyed the video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about hl mod tech of course friends you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day